Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the first video I've ever filmed with me on camera, so bear with me. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about my GR Yaris. I want to run through a few things that I've done to the car and why I've done it. The car doesn't really need an introduction. You all know what it is already. Um, but I personally think that, as you often find with manufacturers, Toyota have still been a little bit safe with this car. It's a homologation special and they've, they've gone further than most manufacturers would normally do but if you're designing a rally car for the road i think it needs to replicate as close as it possibly can a rally car for the road it shouldn't be a safer version of that it should be all out um, so let's just talk about what i've done uh, starting with the wheels i think toyota actually did quite a good job from factory with the wheels my car has the circuit pack so it came with the 18 inch forged wheels, which are super lightweight and they look surprisingly good as well. The trouble is, to me, it didn't scream rally car. If you Google Toyota rally car, almost every image result you'll get back is of a car with white wheels. It's such an iconic look that I think Toyota missed a trick by not allowing you to spec white wheels from a factory. So I took matters into my own hands and I put these on. These are 1552 Turbo Mac wheels in 18 inch by 8.5, um, which means they're slightly wider than from factory and they really fill out the arch as well, um, giving the car a really aggressive look, which I'm really, really pleased with. Um, I also kept the stock tires. So the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S in 225 over 40, which I initially was a little bit worried about, but seeing the car now i think they actually fit perfectly um, what i love about these wheels is the rally car look which is exactly what i think this car should have um, the contrast as well between the white and the red i think makes the car really stand out um, i noticed that when i bought the car pedestrians on the street wouldn't really look at the car unless they knew what it was but now, even those who may not be sure what it is, whether they think it's just a sporty Yaris or if they know it's a GR Yaris, look at the car um, because you can't help but notice how good it looks. What I've also done to the car, which I hope you can see from this angle, is lower it slightly. Um, rather than going for coilovers, which is quite an expensive choice, I went for the H&R lowering springs, which are 35 mil. Um, I was worried it was gonna be too low, but in actual fact, I think it's come out perfectly. Um, the car looks a lot more aggressive, which is what I wanted it to do, um, but it's also usable on the road. The ride feels the same as it did from factory, um, and it doesn't scrape on the arches over bumps. So I haven't really got any complaints at all, and it looks brilliant. So one of the most disappointing things about the car, um, and I really am scraping the barrel when I say disappointing, because the car is more or less flawless, was the sound. Rally cars sound fantastic, but from the factory, this car has more or less no sound whatsoever. Um, if you're gonna compare it to anything, you would compare it to a Hoover. Um, so what I did was I took the car to Overkill Performance, who fit a custom cat back for me, uh, which is straight through from the GPF back. Um, some people like it, some people don't. Um, I think it's the perfect amount of loud. I wouldn't want it any louder, uh, I don't think the car's ever going to sound amazing because it's got a small engine, um, but it now definitely does have a sound to it, which I think a car like this should have. Um, I must admit, it looks a lot better, that's for sure, um, and it sounds like this. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it wasn't intended in any way to make out that the Yaris wasn't good enough from factory. I just wanted to share what I've done to mine to make it, in my opinion, as good as it possibly can be. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. And if you would also subscribe to the channel, that would massively help out. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.